I built the PRP Voyager together with Bart Slager. Uh, PRP uh, stands for Pseudo Random Pulse. The PRP is um, invented on the island of Schiermonnik Oog. I was on a holiday there and uh, I had nothing to do and it was raining outside and I was just sitting on the couch. And uh, I started to program and I had this interest in making uh, algorithmic rhythmic sequences. I was trying to find new ways of creating rhythmical patterns that were not necessarily synced by a clock. So I um, made this algorithm and um, that uh, diverges in between order and chaos. Uh, I prototyped the whole thing or I made the whole algorithm uh, in concept in Max MSP Gen. Um, from that I created a bunch of parameters that I wanted to control and I played a few concerts with it and also used it to lock other instruments to it so I derived gate signals from the pulse streams so I could like sync events in the same pseudo random uh, distribution. After that I I met Wart basically. So basically I asked Wart to build a hardware version of this algorithm I developed in, in, in Max MSP Gen. And uh, Wart uh, was going to um, port this patch into a Bela developed by the Queen's Mary University. Because Bela also facilitates with nice uh, analog inputs, digital inputs, analog outputs, digital outputs, uh, I squared C interfacing. Um, so all the peripherals of a microcontroller inside the same loop as your DSP. So it's a suitable platform to develop such an instrument. Uh, so the PRP algorithm um, has the, all these parameters, so he, basically what you do is you increase the density of pulses and uh, this pulse density is actually like if a white noise signal is greater than 0.9099, some very high, high number, then the pulse may get through. And then uh, this is fed into a gate and this gate only opens when the wait time has passed. So then if you would balance in between this, this, this density threshold and this wait time, you can create this uh, pseudo-random pulse pattern of one pulse length. And then this one pulse length can, can have an envelope or a pulse width. So basically you, you can create an envelope with a, with a pulse width. So an attack time a width and a decay time as three parameters. Then as this envelope passes by, the pulse will not be repeated. It only can, can be repeated after the decay is, is done. But then there's this re-trigger parameter that allows you to re-trigger the pulse already in the decay stage. So you can create these nice syncopes, you know, like da dun dun da dun 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 da dun 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 You know, like that's, that's interesting uh, rhythmical stuff. Within these envelopes, you can uh, put carrier waves so and different sorts. Within the PRP Voyager, we have like this LLL algorithm. It's, uh, yeah, this really crazy uh, uh, congruent noise algorithm that has this comp filter-like effects, but effects, but yeah, on a different uh, manner than just creating a, a delay time. Uh, we have a bass synth, we have FM synthesis, uh, we have um, 
uh, real like real true car plus strong stuff but then tweaked with our own uh, yeah niceness <laughs> and uh, yeah and just the normal pulse shape so when you combine the different carrier waves into the six different voices you can create this whole rich uh, sound universe of pseudo random pulses um, well and then there's still another a possibility you have this resonator section and like all the the pulses can go through the resonator and that's applied like a morphing parameter so you can morph in through this resonance and then this resonance is tuned according to a pitch set which can be sent in via OSC uh, and then this 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 um, Resonance can also be deviated from this pitch set, so you can have this random uh, timbrality that will make it more metal-like, more disorganized uh, spectrally. Like all this sort of new um, uh, possibilities came up, so we made a six-layer version of the algorithm. So one instance of a PRP uh, algorithm times six and then you could like edit all the six tracks with the same set of parameters by pressing an edit button and then you can make this setting and store it on a corner of a joystick so you have four corners on the joystick so you can make four presets per voice so you can navigate in between the PRP um, PRP um, parameters with just moving one joystick that's a, like neat way to uh, to to have this multi-dimensional parameter mapping you can store this complete uh, bank this system state into the into the machine state and uh, yeah yeah you can make like I think there are hundred banks available um, yeah, that's pretty neat. So you can make hundred songs, <laughs> basically. Um, there's also another thing. So the the thing is audio out, multi-track audio out, and um, multi-track gate out. So it just gives gate pulses on uh, on each pulse event. So then you can sync up other uh, modular equipment uh, with the PRP. It also has an uh, Ethernet. Uh, port um, with this you can uh, send uh, trigger OSC messages we have different OSC messages we have OSC messages for pitches so you can send in a bank of um, four pitches and then it uh, cycles through these pitches uh, when there is uh, like pitched material so with the multi-track possibility of the PRP, I can uh, output all the six layers um, separated from each other and also all the gate signals separated from each other. That makes it very suitable for a surround sound environment, so you can uh, distribute six layers in, in space. Um, I also developed the Pentacle 15.3 and um, yeah, the Pentacle enables for audio sync uh, sound specialization. So the uh, I actually developed the PRP with that in mind. So I can use the gate signals to generate coordinates, so X, Y coordinates in uh, in a two D space at the same time as the pulse distributions uh, happen. Also an, uh, an idea for the PRP Voyager was to have even more uh, diversity uh, in the pseudo-randomness versus the regularity. So I, would, I wanted to include a looper basically and then to uh, morph in between the looped material and um, a regular pulse in this loop. So the looper basically records the pulses 
and um, the pulse pattern, the pseudo random pulse pattern. And then, uh, yeah, you could have like something like da dun 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 da dun 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 da dun 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 dun. And if you then go to regular, it distributes all the pulses that are record evenly into that uh, loop length. So you get like the, more to a four on the floor, uh, four on the floor rhythm. So to round this up, the PFP is built for uh, performance uh, situations, but you can also use it for, I also use it to just generate material. Like if uh, you can make a pair pay arrangement from from uh, certain compositional ideas uh, and use it as a yeah just as a machine to generate uh, material sound material and I use it in post production um, yeah it's just a crazy synthesizer and um, yeah super versatile and unique in its kind. As a musician, uh, the pseudo-random pulse paradigm is also uh, an interesting thing to explore. Like, usually uh, you work with pulse as this regular phenomena to sync up to, to sync all your musical ideas, your phrases, everything lines up to, to what's, what's pulsating. The thing with pseudo-random pulses is that it's not like there's this average pulse but it's never played so there's never never a single beat on the count so you have more like an average density so that's all it's never on like you count to in groups of four or in groups of five or seven or whatever you it's it's like really arbitrary moment where you feel like now it's about time to change something but it's not like you cannot really explain it why it's really a feeling more than um, a, a, a grid based decision so to say um, yeah I think that covers it uh, on what it means musically I also now work with this uh, guitar player and he's also trying to um, mimic or to learn how to play on the guitar uh, accompanying the the, the Pierre Pay Voyager so um, yeah, and I see him um, discovering the same thing. At the moment we're developing on a, <coughs> a new chip, the PFP, um, so we're gonna, we're planning a PFP 2.0, <laughs> basically it's, a, it's gonna be a super neat designed machine, we also, uh, we have this new sort of company named Gaia, Mother Earth, and then we have this PFP. Voyager uh, leaving Mother Earth into uh, <laughs> pseudo random pulse space uh, available for um, for you guys if you if you would like so so uh, yeah I'm developing that of course with Wart Slager and uh, Rick Weingaard he's a product designer joined us for designing the enclosure so it's also going to be designed like this miniature uh, space spaceship and it's also designed for dual hand play so you can uh, with your right hand you can skip through the system uh, system banks so the machine states and then with your left hand you can control the joysticks so you can even learn to 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 how to play or jump in in between different machine presets and the presets of a local sound so yeah it, then it really becomes really performable and there's a, yeah i think a huge learning curve in becoming a, a master pay player so let's say um yeah we're uh, still in the developing phase we're still working on the on the pcbs 
and on how to improve the functionality of the whole thing and yeah deciding on what to put in there and what to leave out there what's like really specific for me as a performer of this instrument because yeah this the PRP Voyager as it's standing here behind me was really developed for me really personal like it suited my needs on stage and we also need to investigate on what's usable for an average uh, musician to 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 that would be using uh, the the PRP so um yeah for that aspect we're also inviting artists to experiment with PRP Voyager and let them have their conclusion about what's useful and what's maybe a bit over designed or over spec yeah well that's it <laughs>